Hi, and welcome to Steve's Card Flip. We're going to have six cards today. We also have Tim's covers and Steve's poems on this channel. So I shuffle the cards and I stop when I feel comfortable. Okay, I hope you are well. And this is about 10 days after you see it or until the next reading. So you can see this at any time. So I shuffle this and I'll stop. What message do we have for everybody? Ask God and the animals. And the card that I've got is Metal Ox, experience the greatest love. So I'll hold that up and I'll put that down. All right, oxes can be loving creatures. They may not appear that way on the surface, but they actually are very quite soft and gentle and opening up to the greatest love. Well, the greatest love, some may say, is God. It's within yourself. So, you know, find your quiet time, go within yourself, connect to yourself that way as you get yourself together everything seems to fall into place and change for you and starts to work for your benefit once you find that you've got yourself together and in order um, all different parts of your life seem to fall into place so work on yourself as much as you can get yourself together be open to giving love to people that you feel deserve it and are worthy of it and yes you are deserving of love and if you feel that you're not you need to work on that because everybody is deserving of love so moving on to the next card, we'll shuffle that for up to 10 days for after people see it. What message does God and the animals have for everybody? What have we got? Earth monkey, you can move mountains. Okay, so I'll hold that up so you can see that. The earth monkey is saying at the moment that you have the potential to move mountains. If you think you can't, well then obviously you can at the moment. So um, look at what you need to do. Don't get overwhelmed by the projects or things that are going in your life. Even if you have to break it down into small pieces, break it down, just breathe, get yourself together, start fresh, take one step at a time and then just go with the flow. As things move forward, go with it. If you find a problem, there's a way around it, you can deal with it, you know, you find your way through it. So just be patient with yourself. If you need to ask for help, ask for help. But there's a solution if you go looking for them, you will find them. So as we move forward to the next card, up to 10 days for everybody, and we're shuffling. Ask God, any animals, what message do they have for everybody? Okay. I'll hold this up so you can see it. it's a frog spirit. I need to read this because I need to put my glasses off. Clear out the clutter. So I'll hold that up again and I'll put that down. Frog spirit wants you to clean up your life physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically in all different ways. If you have to do a physical clean, you may want to do it in stages of these small parts of yourself sorry, small parts of the cleaning at a time. This will bring in new energy for the house and just make you feel better about yourself in general. Um, like I, I was talking about an emotional clean out before, but um, all different types of cleaning out your life, just so you can get yourself together and feel better about yourself and just go out into the world and present your best self. It may seem like a bit of work, but unfortunately as people, we do require work. So this is just one of these things of maintenance and once you've done your, your cleaning, hopefully things look much better. So, ask uh, God and the animals what message do they have for everybody at the moment? It's up for the next 10 days or 10 days from when they see it. What have we got? Okay, this is cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Okay. You, they're obviously good things happening for you at the moment because cow spirit says the miracles are endless so just be open to abundance and good things coming to you just swim in the thought of that you are abundant and that abundant things come to you and be open to it if you're closed off to abundance how are you going to welcome it into your life when it comes so be open to it and when it comes just embrace it and just say thank you so you know it's just a good place to be in. and if you receive abundance then obviously you're going to feel good Everyone feels good when they receive abundance. It's just a nice place to be. So these are mermaid and dolphin cards. So these are going to be the last two cards that I shuffle and see what we get for everybody up to 10 days. That's God and mermaids and dolphins. What message do they have for everybody? Okay. I'll 
I'll, I'll hold that up. It's friendship. I'm going to read it. Make a date for a play date with one or more friends. Okay, so I'll hold that up again. Okay, so obviously this is talking about the value of friendship and that um, it's just a time to get together with friends and just get together and just have fun. If you can't do it straight away, then just make plans. It's just like the connection and showing love to your friends and going out and just having good time. It doesn't have to be anything significant. It's just getting together and just unwinding or just getting some stress off yourself when you can talk amongst people and just get a different perspective. Just don't take the whole thing too seriously. You know, sometimes a different perspective can help make things much lighter and just talking about things can just make you feel better about yourself in general. And it's not to feel valued by people that really care and respect you. So I'm moving on to my last card. And this will be my last card for everybody. There's mermaids and dolphins. What message do they have for everybody? hope it's good okay worthiness know that you deserve to see receive worthiness in all ways all right so I'll that up so the thing about worthiness is that we are worthy but not everybody feels like they are worthy we are worthy because we exist and because we are here and worthiness is not about good behavior. Worthiness is receiving the gifts that are given to you so you can then in turn use them and help more people in your life. You know, as something is given to you, you are then able to help more other people and the cycle goes on. So the thing of worthiness isn't about whether or not you're worthy, but if you don't feel worthy, that's something you obviously need to look at and work through. But you are worthy and embrace what comes to you and just be grateful. I mean, gratitude is a great place, you know, particularly for worthiness. So that is my last card. I'm sending you lots of love. Until next time, I hope you're all well and stay well. Lots of love. Okay, bye.